Hello, Kasim. Um, I've just got a few tips for you for over the summer. Um, be really nice if we could take your grade four because you worked really well for all your grade three stuff during lockdown and we've sort of come to a bit of a standstill. You're playing really well and Mr. Casterton and Mr. Corrigan both tell me really good things about your participation in the, um, in the SPJ uh, school um, musical, musical life. They say that you're a really useful person to have around. You and Vinny apparently are absolutely tops. Um, now, I really like you to get ahead and um, because we haven't had as many lessons as we should have done this term, largely because of me being, uh, I missed, I missed a, le a couple of lessons this half term, um, the second half of term, because my, I had to be with my mum on a couple of days. Um, she's um, been in and out of hospital. And also first half a term, I had COVID. So um, we haven't had a full complement of lessons this half, this term. So I'm going to hopefully give you a couple of um, sessions over the summer, but hopefully in, in person as well. Um, that's obviously um, if you're not going away on holiday um, or when you're not away on holiday. Um, so I thought I'd start just by giving you a little video tutorial. So I don't, we don't have to have a time. You can watch this whenever you like. Um, and there's one piece we've done quite a bit of, which is for grade four, um, which is the um, Melodie Antique Française, which you're probably slightly tired of because we, we started about a year ago and we've been doing it on and off. Um, but there are a couple of things we never really covered with it and I haven't heard you play it for some time. Um, it's technically not that easy, but it's a rather beautiful tune. Um, and it's something that you could really do with working at. I'm just going to play it to you. It should go not too slow, a sort of medium tempo, like one, two, one, two, about the speed. And the secret with this piece is not to breathe too often, um, but to make sure you plan where you breathe in within the phrases. And the, the, the second secret is with this piece is to play it as smoothly as you can. Okay, so I'm going to play it through to you this beat, okay, I'll count myself in. One, two, one, two. Okay, now you may have noticed a couple of things. In the middle, I did a little bit of a slowing up um, so that when you get to the end of the middle section, you can do what we call a little bit of ritenuto, which means you slow up a little bit, and it gives you a little bit of time to gather yourself to breathe and then start the next bit. Also, some articulation tips, okay? Um, it's difficult to play. slurred all together. So what I would recommend is that you do them in groups of two like this. That's slightly exaggerated so you can hear what I'm doing, but and to turn the D when you get up to it because it avoids you having to do this difficult slur The slur between C and D is difficult, okay? It's, it's got a kind of bump that you've got to get over. The instrument doesn't want to go up there. So what I always recommend people do is that they... So you can hear where I'm tonguing there and where I'm slurring. That's how you should articulate that. Um, so 
slur in groups of two quavers rather than slurring it all together. And then it won't sound sort of clumsy and, um, and uh, not elegant. Okay, that's pretty well all you have to do on that one. Um, what you can do is you can scroll back into the video and listen to me playing it and try and play along with me even. Um, and it's very important for you basically to always, before you start playing, think of the pulse like this. It's like at a slow walking pace. Left, right, one, two, one, two, like that, okay? Okay, that covers Melody Antique Francaise. And I'll make you another one for um, any other pieces that you're looking at. I may even send you some new music to look at because um, it's important for you not to get stale with stuff that we've been doing for too long.